How you doing? I'm Tony for HUD Pilot. Uh, today, no flying, unfortunately. Came in last week on a landing, and towards the end of the braking portion, I started to have a little shimmy uh, at the end, and I wasn't too sure why. came down back to the hangar and it was fine, but uh, I've decided since the weather is bad outside to have a look. On an annual basis, I'd have to do an inspection just like you would any other aircraft, unlike a certified aircraft where normally you would go to a certified mechanic. On this particular aircraft, because I built the thing myself, I'm able to do all the work myself. So it's about that time of the year when I do my annual inspection anyways. So I'm going to include this uh, brake work as part of that annual. Uh, since I have to dismantle everything, I'm going to grease the bearings and do a whole bunch of other stuff around there, make sure all the brakes are good. Now, uh, to do this, I've actually got to jack up the plane, remove the entire wheel and uh, tire, and then take uh, the disc off because it lies on the inside or outside portion of the aircraft's gear leg. So this is what we'll have to do here is remove all these safety wires. There's another one down at the bottom and this one over here. I remove the nuts, take the discs off. We can already see here there's a bit of a hard spot on the side. So that's probably we're going to try to see if we can clean up and get rid of before deciding whether we change the discs completely or not. So we'll just remove the screws. I've already loosened them up before I started the video. I'll just leave them on there that way just so we can remove them once we take off the wheel. Okay, so I've jacked up the uh, this side of the plane. I've already loosened this up previous to turning on the camera. All we got to do is take this off. Put that there. Take off the wheel. Put that off to the side. Take this off. Somehow, there we go, put that down. Now, normally what you do is you gotta oil up all the bearings before you put the wheel back, but we're not going anywhere. And what we'll do is we'll clean that up, oil it up later on. But for now, we'll just put it back on this way. Put this back on and we'll tighten it up so we can put down the wheel. Get it back to the way it was so we can rest it on the ground. That's it, we'll just tighten it up with a wrench and that'll be that.
Okay, so jacked up both sides of the plane, took off the discs, uh, brought everything back down, uh, tightened everything safe enough in case someone comes and moves the plane. I uh, got the discs, this is one of them. Um, I see a couple of uh, what looks like hard spots. I'm really not sure. I've never really done this particular part of uh, aircraft maintenance before, so I am gonna have a professional look at it and give me their opinion, see if we can salvage them by just uh, cleaning off the surface. Uh, if not, we'll just order another pair and we'll take it from there, all right? Hi, welcome back. It's been a couple of days since I removed the discs and sent them out to a shop to get cleaned up. They came back, they look really good. I'm gonna reinstall them and see how things go. Well, not a happy time. I went to begin the installation, started to inspect a little deeper, and it turns out that the pad, inter internal pad on the right side of the brake has chipped away on the edges. This wouldn't be normal as I don't have a lot of braking hours on the pads themselves. I've communicated with the uh, vendor Matco and we're looking into the reasons behind it. So, in the obvious interest of safety in my rear end, uh, we're not going to go flying for a little while till we figure out exactly what's going on. crack in the middle here a little chip in the back that's not too bad and this is fine in the front here um, considering these brakes are brand new or at least got about 10 hours of braking on them doesn't look too good I'll definitely be speaking to the manufacturer and see what we can do with this I'm fortunate enough to have another home builder right by who's actually building the exact same airplane as I am so um, I stole his brakes. <laughs> Here's the difference between uh, new and old.
right, so we're going to do a bit of a, uh, some testing. We're going to ride the brakes a little. This is the uh, first test, so we won't be taking off at all. But uh, what I'm going to do is uh, do a run-up, see how she holds at 1,800 RPM, which is the normal uh, run-up speed. I'm going to uh, then take her on the runway and just do some slow, slow driving with maybe tapping on the brakes for a bit and see how that goes. All the Desiree traffic off Alpha Geo Quebec is taxiing for departure runway 28. And all Desiree traffic, Alpha Judah Quebec is departing, uh, just taking position runway 28. Feel for five flat to call, coming up to 5,500. And that uh, traffic coming in, uh, you guys said it come to the northeast? Yeah, we're approaching from the northeast. We're just going to cross overhead at 45, going down one left. Okay, sounds, uh, sounds good, guys. I'm just taking off 28 now. And all Desiree traffic, Alpha Judah Quebec is rolling 28. Alright, so it started to rain a little, not a big deal, but we're still going to do our taxi tests, although we may not go flying. Uh, so I'm going to start up with the... Uh, I'm going to start up with the engine run up and see how uh, we're going to... Uh, whether we're going to move forward or not. So that's the hope that it doesn't happen. So, here we go. Okay, so she creeped up a little bit. Um, not exactly what I wanted to see. I was hoping it would be a little more steady because that's the way it was before I flew, uh, before I started having the problems. So we're going to take her on the runway and we're going to see how that's going to go. Oh, Disbury, Bravo, Uniform, Zulu crossing overhead. We're going to join down with left uh, 28, full stop. Old Disbury. This very traffic, Foxtrot Zulu is here. Zulu is going to be taking position on 28 just for a high speed taxi test. Uh, on the runway, and we'll be exiting at the Alpha. Yeah, copy that. And all Desiree traffic, Alpha Duke Quebec is clear in the zone, four miles to the uh, northwest, climbing to 4.9 for 5,500, turning northbound via 5 prime to the coast. Switching on route for two. Didsbury, Bravo Uniform, Zulu, we're down in left 2-8. This very traffic, Fox Rod Zulu, Zero Zulu, uh, off the active on Alpha. Yeah, Bravo Uniform Zulu, cop. Uh, I'm going to take her down once this plane comes in for a landing. I'm going to take her down the runway again and uh, see how it goes. I find the right brake a little soft, so I may have to go bleed the brakes or reverse bleed the brakes to make sure there's no air in it from when I remove them. Oh, this very Bravo Uniform Zulu is down in Oh, this very traffic. Uh, Foxtrot Zulu is here. Zulu taking the active for another high speed uh, brake test.
So I'm going to bring her up to 1800 RPM just to see before I le uh, loosen the brakes. Just to see if she moves up like she did before. So I'm at 1800 RPM. It looks good. I'll release the brakes. And I'll just reduce the speed. Got a bit of choppiness here. The same choppiness as I was getting before. All right, we'll take back the hangar and have a look. Oh, it's very Zulu here, Zulu. Clear the active on Alpha. All right, so what did we feel? Uh, not very good. It was a little shaky at first. Uh, it started to get better. But then on that last run where I was applying the brakes just to see, I was, you know, I wasn't even doing 30 knots yet and uh, there was, seemed to be that shimmy again. So I'm gonna go out, take a look, and see what's going on. All right, more to come. Here we are again. Uh, I've uh, refilled up all the fluid, got rid of the air bubbles, hopefully got them all. I uh, had someone to help me out, so it was quite uh, the uh, the help. So we're going to do the same thing that we did before, where we're going to taxi down at a speed of maybe about 30 miles an hour, just to see how she feels. And then I'll come around, get off the taxiway, uh, come back down, get on the runway, and, uh, and do the same thing at slightly higher speed, and see how she reacts, and see if I've still got a problem. Hopefully this will be solved. So I do have to wait for my engine temps to go up, so we are going to do a regular run-up, just in case something goes bad, and we have to lift off no choice. I'm just going to have to wait a little while longer for the temps to go up. Brakes are holding well at 1800 RPM. Good sign. Left and right brake, that is. Excellent. Zulu Sierra Zulu positioning at 2 8. I'll be doing a high speed brake test and exiting on Alpha. Old Ditsbury. Here we go. We're just going to do an initial test, not high speed. So I'm going to power it up now. I've got 1500 RPM. I'll idle it and start applying brakes. Doesn't feel too bad. Oh, that's very Fox Rasul Sears will be very active. All right, so we're going to go back again onto Bravo. And we'll try a little faster this time and see what happens. Check it for traffic. It's all good. No one's flying at this time of day. Foxtrot, Zulu Sierra Zulu. Taking the active on 2.8 at Old Stidsbury for a high-speed brake test. Old Stidsbury. I'm going to go just a little faster this time. We took it up to 35 knots. And we'll start applying the brakes. One continuous motion. Seems to be pretty nice. Back to the hangar. See you next time on HUD Pilots. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, like and subscribe.